And today we know every uh, day there may be a virus emerging. Uh, you know, the H7 coming from China, uh, you have MERS corona coming from Middle East. And very recently, in the last week, only six or seven days before early H6N1, a human case was reported from Taiwan. Uh, even though we knew that H6N1 was circulating in poultry, but it has already jumped. So similarly, many other viruses are going to jump from, you know, so that's one of the major theme of uh, today's my talk, you know, towards the uh, uh, end of it, and we will tell you that, you know, what we are trying to convey uh, to everyone. See, the emerging, especially the emerging respiratory viruses can take a country uh, to a hostage. You can see the picture of a, a Hong Kong airport uh, at the time of SARS. Hong Kong is one of the very busy airports, but nobody is there. So the, the enormous economic impact it can bring, especially when it is respiratory. When it is blood borne, you have various reasons. It doesn't spread like that. Respiratory, you know, it's very difficult to contain the disease. <clears throat> if you look at the, the 10 leading causes of death in the world, the 2011 report, WHO report, says Respiratory viruses is killing around 3.2 million people. So these are uh, this, this definitely is an underestimate. The real real figures must be much more. So we know. And when it comes to uh, poor countries or poor, low socioeconomic strata, you will find uh, the respiratory infections or lower respiratory infections going as the number one uh, killer. So it is acute respiratory viral infections are a really leading cause of death. And it, especially in children, you know, 18 percentage of mortality. It's a very huge number when you when you turn it into the real figures. The very young people are more susceptible. You have a huge number of immunocompromised patients are now coming up because of the treatment or uh, because of the new diseases like HIV, AIDS, and the elderly population. Our population, also at least in you know, some of the developed areas, the population has slowly started aging. You know, you have. Uh, the longevity is increasing, so that group is again susceptible. So all these uh, people are the young as well as old and immunocompromised are more susceptible uh, to respiratory or this, most, most of these viruses.